All right, guys, to help you out a little bit with uh, what I noticed was uh, a couple things that were on the checkpoints that we may need a little assistance with on the 5.7 is, uh, let's say you have a problem like this where you add the center of your circle. Uh, right here, angle A, B, C is our inscribed angle, okay, because it's going to the vertex that's on the circumference and it opens up to an opposite arc. And then what we want to know, actually I forgot to put on here, was we want to know the value of arc a, B. Okay, we want to know the measurement of arc A, B. Well, in order to do this, there are a few things that we need to do first. One, we already have arc B, C. So let's find arc A, C over here, and we can use that using our rules of our inscribed angles. We learned first that what we need to do is we look at the arc that goes with the, arc, the inscribed angle right here, because it is not the central angle, it is no longer the same, okay? This is going to go back to following a formula where this arc is half the length of the inscribed angle. But I don't have the arc, I have the angle. So what we need to do is we need to go the other direction and to find this, we need to take the inscribed angle and multiply it by two to get the length of this arc, which then will give us 202 degrees. So now we have arc BC and we have arc AC. So how do we find arc AB now? Well, we know here we have 102 degrees, we have the 202 degrees, and here is our X. What we need to remember, as always, when you have a circle all the way around, the measurement of all those arcs all the way around is going to equal that 360 degrees. So we can do our algebra and we can say, okay, well here, arc AB, which is 202 degrees, plus arc BC right here, which is 102 degrees, is going to equal, figure out what color I'm on here, arc A, or sorry, not equal, apologize about that, and we add arc AB as well. So now we have all three. This one is an X, we don't know what it is. It's all going to equal to 360 degrees, that total all the way around measurement of the uh, circle. So here we take the 102 plus the 202, we add them together, and we're gonna combine our like terms here, and we're gonna wind up with 304 plus x equals 360. So now all we have to do is subtract that 304 from both sides. We get x by himself. Okay, and we're gonna wind up with 56 degrees. Hopefully I did that math correct in my head, okay? But that's how you would treat a problem like this. If I want the arcs, can you just need to look at, do I have the central angle or do I have the inscribed? So I had the question from a student saying, well, how do I know what arc goes with the inscribed angle? Well, where does this inscribed angle open up to? Right here. And that's why I like to color coordinate this, okay? The other one I'm getting some questions on and anticipate some questions are is a problem like this where we're not setting them equal to each other. And that's the big thing that students are going to want to do is they're going to want to set these equal to each other because that's what we're used to doing. But what you need to remember is that this arc right here, this is two times the two X minus two. So you can approach this two different ways. You can either double up two X minus two and equal it to 84. In my opinion, it's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier if you take half of this arc measurement, 84 degrees, and set it equal here. Because remember, this arc right here is going to be half the measurement. So if we take half of this, we find out that this 2x minus 2 needs to be set equal to half of 84 is 42. And then here we just go through and we solve for x. We add 2 to both sides. We get 2x is equal to 44. Do our last step here. And then we find out that x is equal to 22. Okay, I hope that helps you out with a couple of the problems that are on the checkpoints.